Hi, this is Mike. I have received several emails and have seen posts where people are trying to locate specific colored cardstock as well as match skin tone. Not only do I have a free skin tone printable color pack available, which I will link below, I am also going to show you how to do your own color matching from a photo as well as how to color match a specific color should you have a hard time locating it. For this tutorial, we will be using Silhouette Studio. In addition, I will have links below to the software, the free downloadable skin color printables, as well as our recommended printer. Please keep in mind, due to screen and printer calibrations, you may not get the exact color you are intending. However, this technique will really help you out when you're in the bind for a specific color. So let's get started. We are going to use a photo, and I do have a photo that I've already downloaded. So I just need to import that into Silhouette Studio. So I'm going to go File Open and I am going to go to my desktop and grab that photo and here the here is this photo and the first thing that I want to do is go over here it's the one to the third one down it looks like a color palette on the uh, panel here and I'm going to click on that and you're going to see a little eyedropper so I'm just going to click the eyedropper and as you can see as I move around you're going to get different it's going to show you the color, it's going to show you the RGB values as well as the hexadecimal codes. And so this is exactly what we want. Now most photos you're going to have variations such as highlights and shadows. So you're going to want to pick something that doesn't have both of those in there. So I might want to maybe sample the cheek here. So I'm just going to click on that and you can see now that that color has been represented over here in the color panel. So we're basically done with this. So I'm going to go ahead and click it and click delete. And you can see our color is still there. And now I want to set up my mat for printing. So I'm going to click the top right tab, which is the setup panel. And I'm going to tell Silhouette Studio the size for my document. Um, for this, I am going to do eight and a half by 11. So under media size, you're going to drop that down and you're going to change that to eight and a half by 11. Perfect. And you're also going to see right here where it says show print border. This is going to show you obviously your margins of where you can print inside. And so now I just need to go over here and grab a drawing tool. So I'll use the rectangle shape and we're just going to draw this right in the middle. And since we've already selected our color, it's going to go ahead and fill that in for us. And at this point, you really just need to go file print and send this to your printer and use this as you would a regular cardstock. All right, for the second example, we're going to go and head to the Dreaming Tree site. All right, so you're going to want to head to the blog section for this next one. And we do have one, a blog. I think it's on page two, uh, American Crafts AC Cardstock Pack Legend. So say you're making a project and I don't know, you are missing Sapphire and you just cannot find Sapphire anywhere. anywhere. So you go to the blog. If you're on a PC, you're going to hit Control F. If you are on a Mac, you are going to hit Command F. And you're going to see this opens up in the top right it opens a little finder window. So I'm gonna type in Sapphire, S-A-P-P-H-I-R-E is the way they spell it. And you'll see that it, it took me down here and you'll notice down here that it took me to that. If, if I was not on the page and I clicked the little arrow button, it will take me back to where that was. So I need to download this file or this image. So I just need to right click I'm going to save this to my downloads. Um, if your computer allows you to copy image, you definitely can copy that. And you can open up Silhouette, right click and paste it. Perfect. And again, we're just going to pull up our color panel and we're going to pick the little uh, eyedropper and I'm going to move to the sapphire. And it changed, well, it changed it all because it's definitely a graphic and it's not an SVG file. But from this point, you can go up here and just make this the size that you need it to be. And now you have a sapphire color 
that matches the one from our photo on our website. And you just print this out. So again, just file print, set up your printer, and you will be good to go. So I hope this was helpful. Can't wait to see what you guys make. Bye-bye.